talk about your travelogue exploits as to how difficult it was to get into Toronto given the weather last night? Yeah, we left early uh, and I think we were able to just kind of, we had some turbulent times in the plane which were a little bit frightening but we, we hit the ground okay but then we couldn't unload our plane for a, f uh, a few hours so we came in a bit later last night and uh, you know, we we're up early today so it's a quick turnaround but it was, it was fine. What are your expectations in this camp with 18 games with the Marlies, knowing what you did here last year? And uh, you must seem like a veteran given all you've been able to do over the course of the last 12 months. Uh, a bit, yeah. But uh, I'm just going to try to play my game and just keep trying to, you know, gel with the other prospects and whatnot and, and you know, just kind of, um, you know, just act like a sponge and, uh, you know, just try to enjoy it. But, uh, you know, it's also important to play well and, and you know, to, to train hard off the ice when you have the chance and, uh, you know, just, just try to get better. Can you talk about where your game is today versus where it was a year ago after all the experiences you've been through? Um, I think just having the chance to play, uh, you know, close to uh, 100 games almost this year, I mean, I had a chance to kind of um, improve some areas of my game that I, uh, I, I needed to improve. And, um, you know, I think I'm just going to keep trying to, uh, you know, keep getting stronger like I did this year. But I think, uh, you know, I've, been, I've improved as a player this year just, uh, you know, from all the, you know, um, off ice training and whatnot that I've I've been doing, so you know it's been a pretty good year so far. What, what areas is it? Is it your strength? Is it your uh, size? Or uh, I think it's, it's always like that. When you want to make the jump from junior to pro, I think you always have to get stronger, and you know you always have to get a bit uh, bit more um, you know confidence in 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 your off ice, and then uh, you know so I've been training hard, and uh, you know I've I've been on the ice quite a bit too, so it's been good. What, how did that AHL experience help you? Uh, it was great. I mean, I got a chance to play, uh, you know, about 20 games with, uh, with the team this year, and I think just having the chance to play against, uh, you know, older players was great, and, you know, I had a chance to play in the playoffs as well, which was, uh, you know, pretty helpful to me, and, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, pretty cool experience, uh, you know, having a chance to play pro hockey. How did you think you fared in those games against men? Uh, you know, I was, I was pretty happy with it, you know, uh, you know, I think, if uh, if you kind of make a jump from junior to pro, there you know will probably be a time period that we have to adjust. But you know after that, you know I was I was, I was pretty happy with how it went, and you know I had some great teammates that uh, were quite helpful to me, and uh, you know I think it went well. What guidance did Deacon's give you at the end of the summer, uh, end of the season rather? Yeah, he, uh, he approached me a few times and just kind of told me to play my game, and you know just um, just uh, you know try to be a pro hockey player, and you know he was. He was really helpful to me, and you know, he, um, he, I mean, he just tried to make me comfortable, which was great, and, uh, and you know, he did a pretty good job with that. What do you have to do to crack the NHL? Do you think? You um, well, play well. I think would be a good start, and uh, you know, just uh, play my game. And you know, I've been training hard, and I have to keep getting stronger and whatnot. But I think when I come to camp, uh, you know, I just got to play my game and play hard, and uh, and and then just try to prove myself. When you say my game. Be specific. Like, what is your game now? Uh, a two-way game. Uh, I think I have, um, you know, um, I'm able to chip in, uh, and then I can also play, you know, in my own end as well. So I think I just have to be able to, you know, play at, uh, you know, the two ends of the ice, and and, uh, and you know, I have to be able to carry the puck and you know, try to contribute, and uh, you know, hope that I can do that. Is it your goal to make the team? Would you be disappointed if you didn't? Uh, yeah, that's my goal. Uh, you know, I think. Uh, it's it's not ever easy to get cut, so I think yeah I would be, but you know obviously uh, it's it's not easy to play pro hockey as a as a teenager, so you, you kind of got to keep that in mind. But you know I'm I'm gonna you know keep training hard and hopefully come to camp and you know play well. You're getting social media training here as well this week. Do you have to be schooled in, in the ways of Twitter, given all that's been going on on all we've heard this week? Uh, do, do you approach it, approach it cautiously? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, you, you can see other athletes uh, who might um, abuse Twitter a bit when it comes to you know that kind of stuff. But um, you, you know, I think you, you have to have caution when you use it, and you have to be aware of who you're tweeting, what you're tweeting at, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I mean, uh, I think I've been pretty good at it uh, up to this point. You know, hopefully I can keep it that way. But, um, you know, I think uh, you just kind of have to have to keep learning on the fly a little bit just from what other athletes are doing in, in other sports. Life is simple in Moose Jaw. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot different in Moose Jaw. You don't have to worry about it as much. But. 
Uh, you mentioned some guys need to give you some guidance when you're at the AHL. Does anything stand out in terms of advice you may have gotten? Uh, just to have confidence, I think that was, uh, you know, pretty common. What uh, you know, I was told they just kind of told me to uh, uh, play with confidence, um, and just try to be, uh, you know, a kid again, and just keep playing hockey and whatnot. So I mean, they were all great, and you know, they're all all pretty helpful to me. Be a kid again? Yeah. You're not, that, you're not too old. Yeah. Well, well, they are. So maybe it seemed that way, but. <laughs> Do you think about Morgan at all the the possibility of going back to Moose Jaw and maybe using that as a motivating factor to not have to go back? Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I mean, it uh, it isn't as though if if I end up going back to Moose Jaw this year, it's a chore or anything like that. I mean, I've always enjoyed playing there, and you know the team will be good this year. But uh, obviously, my goal this year is to play here, and, uh, and you know I'm going to try to do that at camp. But I guess the, just development-wise, you know, mm -hmm. the, the preference would be if not with the Leafs and with the Marlies, given yeah. that you played well in the playoffs, but that's not possible. No, right? yeah, so I think, um, you know, obviously my goal is to play here, like I said, and, you know, if I, if I do end up going back to Moose Jaw, I mean, um, it, uh, it isn't going to change my attitude or anything like that. I'm going to uh, keep trying to get better, but, um, you know, I'm going to come to camp and, you know, try to work hard and, and just try to prove myself.